They call her the Tempest. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Whatever happened, it wasn't me. I just got here. Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Good to see you're looking so well, Sarah. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really going to be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Pathfinder, check this toy. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. I'm all about what's useful. Oh, this is. Especially if you grabbed anything from Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. Options are good. We need more of those. For everybody. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. 
It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Wonder how fast that engine core clocks in. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen, keep any specimens. Can we talk in stuff later? I've got some last minute adjustments. She'll be ready to go when you are. Securing cargo and checking everything made it on board. The bridge report's ready. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Ryder. Ryder. Finalizing orders, flight plan, command access. Ready when you are. We're almost out there. Finally. Hello. I've just got to finish this download from the Nexus. We'll be ready for launch. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there, too. Verifying my connection from Hyperion to the Tempest. The Nexus confirms we're free to depart. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jath. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder, running a ship. You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours, unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callo, take us in. about as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before, well... Let's see what's waiting here. So this is where the human arc first entered Helios? Heck of a wake-up call. Shuttle spotted. Drifting. It sustained catastrophic electrical damage. That's 
a research vessel, Dr. Aridana informed us of. There are no life readings within. She'll want to know. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Pathfinder, it's so wonderful to meet you. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar, assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus science team. Welcome to my team. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. I can't wait to get to work. There hasn't been much to do so far, unfortunately. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. 60 pages. That's... a lot of pages. About dirt. Oh, you don't have to be kind. I know it's barely more than a summary. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. It's why I joined the initiative. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We're the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible! The first time I handled a Prothean artifact, I was hooked. It was so... Alien. I just knew. There's more out there, and I want to see all of it. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Me, out there, with the guns and the danger and everything. But don't you want to experience everything firsthand? I know I'd want to. Oh, absolutely. But I know my strengths. Trust me, I'm far more useful to you in the laboratory. Anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Later, then. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving a good story half-finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Salarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Cheer up, Kello. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Nice place you found. Clean air, plants, helps me think. Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. You were his second in command. Were you friends, too? He was more a mentor than a friend. Prickly old bastard. But I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. There's a lot of loss going around. Dad, the Golden Worlds. A friend and mentor who trained you to be a Pathfinder. I said I wouldn't get in the way. And I meant it. But... I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you. 
An untrained Pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. A commando friend said something like that once. I explained I wasn't into women, however admirable they might be. So... So I said I'd still take a bullet for her. We were a team. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. Let me guess, little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo, gotta go. Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. I'm not just some people. I really like the intensity. That's good. It's nice to feel... appreciated. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Happy to have you, Dr. DePero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, a, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you? I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. That's a very... specific topic. I grew up on Omega, lots of Krogan mercenaries. The best habitat outside Tuchanka. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan... Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. Hello, Sarah. It is interesting to be renewed. How do you mean? Since my creation, I have been Alec Ryder's Sam. Now, I am your Sam. I am still myself, but now the input and experiences I have are completely new. I will develop in a new direction. The term reincarnation seems appropriate. Are you okay with changing who you're becoming? I cannot know until I see the result. I look forward to our continued partnership. What was Dad's take on Scott and I? 
he believed your family trials brought you closer together, and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well founded. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes, lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes, this terminal provides a direct link to my service in Samnode on the Ark. I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. Let's say, hypothetically, I was out sick the day they taught quantum... Uh, um, uh, embezzlement communism. Via entangled subatomic particles, it's possible to conduct secure and instantaneous communication across great distances. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why don't Thresher Moors eat comedians? Because they taste funny. Uh... Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omniblade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Someone brought this to Andromeda? It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one? Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on a patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted exploration, to chase the cutting edge of Prothean research. I thought I'd found my calling. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder, why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I started in the Alliance, but it was the science that kept me going. And when that ended... Well, if I wanted to be a part of the next big discovery, it had to be here. Ah, oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and... I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. If it all goes wrong, it could feel like we left for no reason. I know why I'm here. A bad start can't change that. I won't let it. In crisis response, I'd focus on essentials. That's you and this team. Pathfinder leads to planets, leads to people. You've got your part covered. You've got this. I'll do my damnedest to help with the rest. signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. Suiting up. See you on the ramp. Hope we're all that ready. Callow? All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collision. 
amazing. Factory fresh across the board, spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? You said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No, I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like, hearing things. Other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Shields holding, adjusting entry. You got this, right? Hell. There. Set us down at this nav point. supposed to do here reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the scourge eos deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters plus no pathfinder if eos is like habitat 7 that signal we scan must be connected with the atmosphere we could use the outpost antenna to track it down let's get the power back on they must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions how would they know they didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. Got a code lock key. Handy. It'll get us in. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment, such as your weapons and armor. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. Standard equipment. That's all we had to give them. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Another code, like we already found. main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Allison thinking, sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close. It's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. I 
Got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we go outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we can hunt that signal down. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here. You thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Well, maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine the hackable input location. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he used his clearance to sneak off the station, make some credits on the side. Don't sound so impressed. We've got company. Kidding about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use.
correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. If walls could talk... Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Seriously? You can do that? Normally, it would be impossible. But since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Let's give it a shot. I could provide analysis via the scanner. Cox thinks finding. I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain, watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first Ket ambush on Site 1. The Ket scouted them out. It actually worked. Is there audio? Compiling now. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Damn, that's grim. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. Not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts. Nobody told them what they were in for. Sam and I could have helped them. This won't happen again. Special requisition. All-terrain scout rover. A nomad. Six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. So shiny. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Well, what do you know? The outpost research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Pathfinder. This is the spot where Nigel McCoy wanted you to leave his pendant. In honor of his brother, Dash McCoy. Portable cover of Ket design. Didn't bother to take it with them. Nexus not send a retrieval team for the bodies? We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Trinidus Gordanus and get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what he started. Didn't even finish unpacking. Ket didn't give him a chance. Looks like a war zone. According to survivors, the cat attacked from all sides. It was a massacre. 
Lexi, I've got another one. Standing by. Waiting for your scan. Y'all are... Thysa. Records updated, Pathfinder. Maybe we could push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety on your pistol? I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. Well, we know which one they chose. Override works, but... Sam, the door was sealed from the outside? Yes, Pathfinder. It appears lockdown was manual before the power restrictions. Why do that? It wouldn't keep anything out. It would keep something in. What the... Pathfinder, that body... A scan might help us figure that out. Not shot, he was just... pummeled to death. Did the cat do this? We haven't seen something like this yet. West, Porter M. Get that, Lexi? Yes, Pathfinder. Records updated. Way too quiet. Pathfinder, a maintenance bulletin was issued at the time of shutdown. What does it say? Run. We got a feed! Override, close it! Tempest, we have an unknown enemy. Evac the Pathfinder. Whoa, hold on. No go, Harper. We have to lay low. Cat are inbound to your location. Cat and that thing? Son of a... Looks like they left in a hurry. They evac'd during a cat attack. Us didn't make it. Look sharp. The thing is out there. And the cat? Everything's grounded till they're gone. Thank <laughs> you. 
the attack on resilience was bad, but damn. Initiative's not military. They weren't prepared for an ambush. When they sent the first colonists down here, everyone was so excited. After all the shit the Nexus had been through, we finally had something to believe in. Then the reports came back. This time will be different. Yeah, I'm more than ready to believe again. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Karkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep. A leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. I'm not real romantic about road hazards. Interesting rocks are just as bad for the Nomad. Water and weather, nothing tougher in the long run. Pathfinder, the scanners picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece, confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkin was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light. Picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located. It's a Karkin nest, all right. Fan out. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni tool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. If you power it up, I can exhume its data. Accessing data. The Chief was scanning at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a Ket pulse weapon. This proves Milken is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Son of a bitch. Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. That looks like a cat facility of some kind. We saw them researching this tech back on Habitat 7. Doubt that's a coincidence. But if we want to look, the only way is through. We've got targets! Life support at 100%. We've got hits!
get to it before there's any more cat. <laughs> Drax, stop that. Vetra, what are you doing here? I'm with the Pathfinder. That Pathfinder. A friend of Vetra's a friend of mine. My name's Sarah Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? You're not the only one hunting Ket. Yeah, bet you're mowing down an army with that gear. Nexus no shit about the Ket. They think they're safe. <clears throat> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. Taking out Ket bases, fighting ground troops. Yeah, I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, Drac, we could use someone with your... skills. Tempting as that is, Vetra, I'm a little too old to be carrying humans through a fight. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the Ket keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Anton, Darren T. Can't undo what happened, but we can make sure he's remembered. That we can, Pathfinder. A field log, Pathfinder. Issued to patrolling cat. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. All Site 2 components are accounted for. Let's head to Site 2's research station and see what good they do. The cat made themselves at home. All this research, I wonder what they learned. He seems fun. Nice. Let's get to a research station, see what we've got. Parts for the Site 2 project. Check. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. There, look, up near that scaffolding. It's slippery, but there's a great view. Who'd be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there? Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Literally. Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let the... All right, time to get off. 
Don't like being sat on, huh? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. No, that's okay. You're obviously corporeal. Pretty solidly built, actually. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things! From Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! Keep targeting that one! They make little bots! first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as PD. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and... Pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. You're sure it'll help Eos? Or am I just a handy way to get those monoliths online? I'm a little offended by that, Ryder. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe. But we both get what we want. Just try. It's not like we can make this planet worse. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Fascinating, huh? Oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too. Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds, do you need to ask? <laughs> A woman after my own heart. Follow my nav points, figure out those monoliths, and we can both get some answers. Is PB a typical Asari name? Never heard it in my hunter's days. Oh, you know things? Good for you. I know other things. It's a name. Good enough and short enough, for now. We're hoping this tech can fix the atmosphere and make Eos livable. Think it's possible? Yes. Maybe. Possibly? This tech is so new. I mean, old here, but new to us. Who knows what it can do? How old is it exactly? It's been dormant for centuries, which I guess isn't actually that old. Huh. But long enough for conditions here to get royally screwed up, if they really are connected. The bots were saying... You had names for them? I had to call them something. The observers fly around spying on anyone who touches this tech. The assembler ones make other remnant. Not sure how yet. Maybe manufacturing or 3D printing? And breachers smash into anything they don't like. Which is us. Easy to remember. How did you get here? After what happened with the outposts, I didn't expect to run into anyone. I had a ride. I had to fudge the flight plan a little. 
The Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else. Or let people see how rough it got. Sad. But there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. Well, I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Avante, Tegan C. Radiation got to her. Got it. That did... Whatever that did. I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, you're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. Lexi, found another colonist. So many. All right, send me their information. Pavlov, Amira S. Got it. Thanks, Ryder. What do we have here? It appears to reconfigure panels that rise from the floor. That could come in handy. and maybe blue skies. Stay careful. They were saving any data they could in case it helped the next try. That's us. The next try is us. I'll need to use the interface that controls this. That did it! Complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Nice work. Can't drop ship. Sir, done. The monoliths are online and connected to something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. an invitation. Hope it's safe. No. No, this can't be right. 
All that fanfare for an empty room? There's some secret here. There must be. Do your... Pathfinder thing! Oh, you're good. I didn't do a thing. That's a long way down. Can't tell how far. That can't be air pressure. Electrostatic? Ah, gravitation. Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. I'll let you know. Hey! It's acting like a gravity well. But where's it taking us? Embrace the unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like it. Looks like a bunker. Or a vault. Whatever you call it. The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. Not what we're looking for, but worth getting a record. Watch your fingers. There might be traps. I'm not detecting any. I've made that mistake before. I think that gravity well works in reverse, too. Then we have a way out. You're not leaving already, are you? Not until we find those processor controls. No signs of any cat. Maybe they can't get into the vault? But you can. That'll get their attention. Lucky me. Only minimal power. I don't think it triggered the atmosphere processor, but... Pathfinder, a conduit beneath the floor just activated. Fluid is running through it. It could be generating emergency power. Your scanner will have more details. We're so far down, I can't even see the top of the well. I see the conduit, Sam. Whatever it is, it leads out of the room. Got anything? There's element zero threaded through all this tech. Imagine the engineering that would do. Shouldn't it be warmer this deep underground? Phrase recovered. Must read to access. This console links to surface facilities. Then it must control the atmosphere processor. No glyphs. It looks dead, or locked down, like most of this place. The fluid conduit leads to this console and further into the vault. So if we follow that conduit, it might lead to the system lockdown. These data pattern things are incredible. If I'm right, each one can hold hundreds of zettabytes. There are whole species who get by with less. Minor corruption detected. The pattern suggests significant data present, but it cannot be accessed. Another gravity well, and that's new. What is it? A symbol of authority? A key? It's easy to speculate with Remnant, but we need more facts. I'll see what I can find on this beauty. Maybe over this way. Whatever has this place on lockdown is that way. I do my best work solo. You fix up the vault, I'll investigate the relic, and together we'll figure this place out. You don't watch many horror vids, do you? We have no idea what's down there. And we never will, if we miss something because we're huddled in a group. I'll be careful. Just stay on the radio. I'm on frequency 145.8. Stay safe. You can't be too risky for her with everything turned off, right? This gravity well's sealed off. No way through. Incidentally, a gravity well 
is the gravitational effect of a large mass in space. This is more accurately a well with variable gravity. Keep a note for our Asari friend, and for when we try to explain all this. Locked. She seems good at taking care of herself. Com check. It's... well, you know who. We read you, PB. Stay in touch. Well, look at this. No way through, no interface points. Uh, Sam, note it down for later. Dug this place through solid rock. Look up there. Must be how they kept it from collapsing. Whoa. What's that liquid? Unable to classify. The only way through is down towards it. An unknown alloy and other materials. The composition resembles Omnigel. Maybe that's the fluid in the conduit. Looks like a blast shield. That might be handy. It's dead. Nothing. It's industrial. Part of the construction? So whatever that liquid is, they need a whole aqueduct of it. Make that two aqueducts, at least. I just crossed one. I keep thinking someone's watching us. Let's stay focused. We can worry after we find the system lockdown. All this for an atmosphere processor. What is this place? That's one way to light a room. The atmosphere processor we found before didn't need all these steps. Dad just interfaced with it directly. Let's not. Direct intervention was necessary in that case, but clearly unwise. Look how high it is. Might be another gravity well? The well's sealed. Damn. Maybe we can use the conduit for emergency power, same as before. That looks like a turret. Be careful. The conduit splits and goes through each of those devices. Interfacing may complete the circuit and allow the well to open. If it gets us to the system lockdown, let's try.
Okay, let's hit the other console and complete that circuit. This device appears defensive in nature. Power restored to the gravity well. The conduit leads down. Conduit fluid pressure is variable. There could be activity below. Then let's dig deeper. Barely any dust. How old is this place? Unknown. Radiation counts indicate the vault has been offline for several hundred years. Around the time the Scourge appeared? That can't be a coincidence. Maybe the Scourge is why all this tech was abandoned? Crap, the conduit sprang a leak. Right over the console. If you try interfacing, you'll burn your hands off. And no fluid means no power. Damn it. Maybe that's why those devices up above were turned off. We're not turning back now. There has to be some way to fix the leak. Breached. Hey, wait! The observers were using weird laser frequencies to fix a broken wall back there. I can send the frequencies to your Omni tool. Maybe they can patch up the conduit? And. received! I'll give them a shot. The system's responding to those frequencies. Just a patch job, but it should hold. Nice work! If it's fixed, that console should work now. Like it worked. There's even a bridge. You're a pal, Ryder. Where are you going? We've got to be close to the system lockdown by now. First one gets the glory. We'll catch up. Let's see if we powered up a way out of here. Will you look at that? Nowhere to go but down. They didn't want anyone getting through here easy. Watch your step. It's still a long go. <sighs> Wait. Plants. All the way down here? That's strange. No sunlight, no water. They should all be dead. The planet's a wasteland, but maybe they're just hardy. The source of the system lockdown may yield more information. We appear to be close.
looks like a side room. Still, could be anything in here. Uh, could we not? It'll be fine. Hate this. Hate it. Absolutely fine. Huh. Damn it. It's okay. It's fine. Stop saying fine. Let's just get out of here. It made a new path. I think that's the right way. We could reach it if we backtrack. Too far, even for jump jets. People. It could fit the whole Nexus. Feel that? This whole platform's resonating with something. We must be close. No question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. console. Huh. Any thoughts, Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good to... Get back to 
to the entrance now! I saw it! What is that thing? Don't risk it, just go! Watch out, Vince! It would be wise to escape, Ryder. I know, Sam! is attempting surface reconnection. Port restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! What was that... field? I know a trap when I see one. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub for startup? This place is full of surprises. Nothing like outrunning death. Or reactivating a huge mysterious vault. Nice going. Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Something happened. Because we restarted the system? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults on other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? Unless the builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. So far, we've seen bots, living plants, atmosphere processors. I once did supply runs for a council team that was seeding some ice planet's atmosphere trying to melt the ice caps. To help it support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. That's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air.